In this video, I wanna share with you three of my favorite non-metallic self-defense options. Stick around. Why non-metallic options? Well, the answer is simple. There's some environments where metallic options are not an option and you may still need to have something you can defend yourself with. On top of that, non-metallic things are very light and easy to carry. In some states, plastic and other non-metallic things are less regulated. So let's take a look at our first option. That is the cold steel Delta dart. I devoted an entire video to the Delta dart a while back. You can check that out. Now, if you want this to be completely non-metallic, you got to cut this ring off. If you don't have this ring on here, you've got a completely non-metallic formidable piercing object. Uh, I did some testing with this. This can pierce through just about anything. It's got a super strong point. You can see how that is designed. Unlike a lot of other non-metallic piercing options for self-defense, this one is not a one and done. This is very strong and sturdy. It's just your classic ice pick style striking instrument. You can actually get a little separate sheath for the Delta Dart. It's plastic as well. It's even got slots for being able to attach to things. So let's look at our second option and that is no metal nucks. These are the plastic ergonomic knuckles from no metal nucks. These are made right here in the USA. No Metal Nux has about three different options. They've got these ergonomic knuckles, they have a more lightweight, classic looking style, and they've got this single nuck, which is very sturdy. I did some testing on this. I was able to strike some hard objects really hard and didn't hurt my hand, but I really like their ergonomic knuckles the best. I'll drop a link in the description for you to check these out as well. And also too, I do believe there's still a discount code attached to that link. My third favorite option is a woodcraft that I made myself. I did a video on this as well a while back. This is super light and super sturdy, but I'll let you see this here. I made this, you can make these at home with a piece of wood. I basically just shaped it like this so that it's got finger grooves and a slant for my thumb. You've got a, a sharp coubaton type edge right here, but I've also got something here I can strike with. It's just a non-metallic striking option, a big time get off of me type of mechanism. That's not going to be pleasant at all. And also too, you can strike with, with both ends of this. And I made this a while back. I just took a solid piece of wood. I love doing wood crafting anyway. And I just kind of cut these little grooves in here and I've got hockey tape on it just to give it a little extra grip. But these are my favorite non-metallic options, man. The cold steel Delta Dart, the no metal Nux, and my own little woodcraft invention here. But this right here also proves a point. You can outlaw things all you want to. Countries can outlaw whatever they want to outlaw, but we are the weapon. Our mind is the weapon. Our own sense of creativity is the real weapon. And you can go and find a piece of wood, you can cut down a tree, and you can shape something like this, and you've got a formidable self-protection tool in your hand. Different countries and states can try to make the world a safer place by regulating this option and regulating that option, but the real weapons are right here. And you can turn anything into something dangerous but I promote having things like this to protect yourself with, not to be a menace to anyone else. And again, you can regulate certain items, but you're never gonna be able to tame or regulate mankind. And that's why you've got to be prepared to take care of yourself in every environment. What are your three favorite non-metallic options? I'd love to hear from you. Take care.